This week's music Monday will have you feeding your hat addiction with Jay Park's Joa. Okay, we can both undoubtedly say that we both love this song. Simon hasn't really been impressed with Jay Park's other stuff as of late, so this song really surprised him while I enjoyed his last dick eating song. That's what it was called, right? I think? No way, appetizer. That was close. It's unpretentious. It's fun and lighthearted and it has just like a simple jazzy horny beat. Not like, not like horny, but like horny. Not that this looks any, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna. Stop. And it's upbeat with a very simple but catchy chorus. I'm totally digging it. I like how at the beginning Jay Park says, This song goes out to, yeah, you know who you are. Yes, we know Jay Park. This goes out. Man, you know who you are. Let's go. Glorious. And you know, we're always torn about Jay Park's image. I know some of you are okay with him waffling back and forth between being hardcore and being sweet, but it's not something that we're fully okay with. We're not okay with it when BAP does it either, or with any other band that goes from cutie to not cutie. I like to expect different sounds from different bands so that I can say, hey, I'm in the mood for blank, and I can listen to an artist that fits my mood, which is something that I can't really get with artists that jump around from different images. If I were to get this album, for example, and I was all like, yeah, man, haters can eat a dick. And then I hear Joa. That would really kill the vibe. It's not really a criticism to the artist who's free to do as they please. It's just not what I want in music. With other bands, though, it's clearly easy for us to say your cutie songs are awkward, so just stop it. With Jay Park, though, he handles both sides really well, and it's difficult for us to say that we want him to stick with just one image over the other. As for the video, actually. I liked it a lot as well. It's very unlike most K-pop videos, what with its simple production value and freedom from box sets, but it doesn't feel like a low budget video, unlike some videos we know. <laughs> Compare this video to Star, where Jay Park is awkward in his turtleneck and look at all sad and getting cappuccino foam all over his face. Here, Jay Park's cute, but he retains his confidence and playfulness and it was so much less awkward that I'm acting like a sissy. I said it. And it made for a much better video. Jay Park is having fun in a fun video and it totally matches just the fun feel of the song. I don't think I said the word fun enough. Fun. No, this video has a very natural feeling and Jay Park seems like he's part of the city and he's trying to share with everyone as opposed to him being a K-pop group trying to seem cool in a city that they have no right to claim to be a part of. Remember our complaint for Batu's Beautiful Night? How awkward and forced it felt with the strategically placed cool bikers and skateboarders? That video reeked of insincerity and fakeness like so bad. With this video though, we feel like Jay Park is doing it right. Right. The quick cut scene of inside the breakdancing studio looked to me like that probably was where he actually practices. And his crew looked like real people, not hired backup dancers that have no idea who the hell he is but are just in the video for a paycheck. But on that note, I could also tell that they look super duper uncomfortable with having to dance along to the song while sitting on the stairs. Look at this, they're just flailing around in the background, laughing in an attempt to figure out what's going on. I wonder how Jay Park convinced him to be in this music video. Hey yo, Jay Park! Oh, shit, a mechanism with raspberry drizzle coming out the picture. What up, hip-hop Hitler? Listen, listen. I got a bone to pick with you, son. What up? You told me that if I appeared in your music video, you promised you would give me mad pussy. And what? You saying that Jay Park don't live up to his promises? Here, check this out. You ready for this? Okay. Mad pussy, son. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Look how mad he is. I, oh, yeah. Come on, Edo, uh, I'm gonna put him in. Yeah, you, you could go get that yourself. I think maybe there's been a miscommunication about the concept of mad pussy. What, you, you calling me a liar? I, I'm not calling you a liar. Hey, didn't I promise you mad bitches as well? Yeah. Spongy, come on here. Get your friends. I got peanut butter. Come here, boy. He's a dog. His come here. Friends are dogs. Ain't, ain't we dogs? You my home dog? I, I, I What's suppose. your problem then? Alright. Why, 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 why are you breaking my bows? Okay. Why you breaking my bows? Give me a laser pointer. There you go. Let's get at this. Go. You're kidding. Now, although we love the song and video, it just wouldn't be a Music Monday if we didn't go through the video frame by frame and dig up awkward irrelevancies that you might not have noticed. So let's get started. Jay Park, I think we need to have a talk. Come here, come on, grab a seat. I want you to admit something to me. You're addicted to hats. Don't try to deny it. We're concerned about you. Yes, I know it's part of the hip hop uniform, but you wore seven different hats in this music video, which translates to roughly a new hat every 30 seconds. In fact, there's even a scene where you wear two hats, a toque, 
and then a hat. No, no, don't try to say it's some fashion thingy with double hats. Soon you're gonna have triple hats and quadruple hats, and next you're gonna be selling your cat to make money to buy more hats. You need to admit it, and you just stop while you can. Double hats, crazy talk. Also, I'm not really sure what this girl does with her life. It could just be me, but I don't really remember the last time I've seen someone walking in the streets without something on their shoulders or in their hands. This girl has no purse, no bag filled with stuff to carry, no iPhone she's messaging all her friends on. She's not walking like she's trying to get somewhere. She's just walking as if she enjoys walking. Do people do that nowadays? I don't ever have any free time, so I don't know what walking like that is like. Ain't she, I don't know, got a job or some grocery shopping, walking a dog, something? Or is this what pretty models do? Oh my God, I'm so young and beautiful. Well, she does walk around with a coffee sometimes without any wallet with which to pay for the coffee, but there she is, just enjoying being rich and bored. And Jay Park, a bit of advice here. Hey, you can do better. How many girls can get to say that they had Jay Park dance for them? This girl though, crosses her arms and gives you stink face when you dance for her. You know there's a lineup of girls behind her ready to cut her open for the chance that you dance for them and she won't let you put your arm around her? She ain't the one for you, Jay. She ain't the one. There's not much of a dance here for the song. Jay Park break dances for a bit, but I sure as hell ain't gonna talk about that, lest my fat ass knock down everything in the studio and attempt to recreate it. <laughs> Screw that. Jay Park also jumps around happily around the girl like a puppy going for a walk, but that's not really much of a dance. There is that one dance he does in the stairs where he, he moves his foot back and forth, but that ain't a dance really. That's more like what Simon does when he wants me to smell how bad his feet are. Joa, you like my feet now, Joa. Smell them, oh, they're so Doritos. sweet. Doritos, damn it! Joa. It's like rotten hot chocolate. Ooh, you taste my oh, feet? It's like Cool Ranch Doritos crushed and covered in spongy. Stop it! Stop it! Oh. Other foot, Joa. <laughs> Joa. <laughs> ah, yes. Six years of marriage will do that to you. J Park's English is fine. Last week we asked you which Myungsoo video you preferred. K Will's Love Blossom or the Snuggly Ones in 60 Seconds. And you definitely preferred him in Love Blossom. As do we. I'd much rather see him killing people unjustifiably than hanging around restaurants creepily with his mouth dangling open. Good choice, everyone. For this week's showdown, we ask you which hat obsession video did you prefer? Jay Parks and Joa or Super Junior M's Imperfection? Both so overwhelmingly hatty. Leave your votes in the comments and we'll announce the winners next week. There's a video you want to see us do for next week's Music Monday. Head on over to eatyourkimchi.com slash kpop charts and get voting. We'll pick one video out of the top three and do our Music Monday on it. G-Dragon's video was in first place on Sunday, but not Saturday at midnight. Jay Park just barely squeaked through. Lastly, don't forget to like and favor this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away, Spudgy. If you Joa this video Joa it means like in Korean, so you should subscribe if you like this video. And also, you should check out the bloopers. We say funny things in there. And Simon's voice sometimes fades when he tries to do my Joa. Subscribe and the bloopers. I don't know what else to say. I ran out of lyrics. Furtis, touch your dummy. Come on.